Hello? In this guide I will show you how to train simplest Unity ML agent. Let's begin from the creating new Unity project. Then we need to install ML agent package in the Unity package manager. Next, we need to install ML Agents package in the system. This step is not obvious. In this guide, we will just uh, quickly jump uh, through it, uh, but I have already recorded separated video with all details, and you can find it in on the channel. So we need to go to the project directory, where we need to create new virtual environment. Pipe and tool should be installed in advance. When environment is ready, launch it and install our target package, ML agent. Downgrade package prat above and check that everything works, launching ML agents learn. Finally, time to do more interesting things. Let's start from the scene creation. Add empty object on this scene, which will be our floor. And create plane inside, it will be its visual part. Do some scaling and let's create some material to make it looking good. Assigning material. Okay, let's design our uh, training environment. All participants of our training uh, scene should be placed within the single object environment. It will help us to do scaling of training later. So let's create uh, new empty objects for our agent and its target. The same as we did it for floor, parent object should be empty and all visuals should be placed inside it. Then we are creating materials and assigning them. Environment is ready and time to write some code. Create folder for scripts and create new C -sharp script inside. Let's open it in editor. Let's make it clear. And change the parent class to the agent class. Now assign created scripts on the our agent object. Couple components have been added automatically, it's all. Now open configuration file that we created previously and place some name for our behavior. Then copy it and pass into behavior parameters of agent. We will need to check collisions between agent and target to, to realize that they touched each other. So let's add uh, rigid bodies for both objects and uh, mark them as kinematic. Also create tag for target and mark target by it. We finally finished with the routine, so let's do programming. For the beginning we will define uh, all methods which we will override a bit later. I will explain the goal of each method when we will write implementation of them. Now let's add a reference to the target object to be able to control it. Switch to the Unity editor and assign the target. Ok, method on episode begin. Its goal is to reset starting conditions of each episode on its beginning. The whole process of training it will be infinity loop. Uh, and each iteration should be started from some starting condition. In this project we will do just random positioning of agent and target. So let's define spawning radius.
and place target within this radius randomly. Now do the same for agent. Small note, it's important to use local position instead just position. It will help us later to do scaling of training process. Time to configure actions which agent will be able to do. We will use two continuous actions. First action will control movement agent by X axis and second one by Z axis. So it means that agent each step will take two decisions. Value of movement by two axes. Let's read it. And now let's calculate delta position according to decisions taken by agent. Yeah, here I did mistake. I'll fix it later. Time to write heuristic. So this method uh, is needed to be able to control a agent manually. We need this method to check that agent is controlling manually. Well, it means that uh, neural network also will be able to control agent. So let's read values from input and put it into continuous actions. Time to check that we did everything fine. But unfortunately we did not. I'm pressing arrows, but agent is not moving. I forgot to add decision requester component to agent, so let's do it. Now it should work, so let's try again. Yeah, great. It's controlling by me. But when agent touches the target, uh, episode is not starting from the beginning, so let's implement this behavior. We need to add method on trigger enter and check that uh, agent touched target. If it is, just end episode. Let's check it. Great, it works. When agent touches the target, episode starts from the beginning. Neural networks uh, do their decisions based on data about environment. For our goal, it will be enough to put on the entrance of neural network the information about direction from the agent to target. Important advice, it's always better when the data is normalized. Also, we should specify the amount of data for vector the size is 3, so let's just specify it. Oops, small bug, extra bracket, let's delete it. 90% of success guarantee right chosen rewarding policy. In this project it, it will be simple. We will just estimate how uh, distance between agent and target was changed and calculate, uh, and calculate delta reward based on this delta distance on each step. To do it, we should remember starting distance and the beginning of each episode, and it will be based for our calculation. So passing 100% of distance will bring agent one point. Okay, let's say starting distance and set last distance uh, the same as started distance because on the first step it is the same. Finally, let's calculate reward. Getting new distance for the step. Calculating delta distance between steps. And simple function to calculate delta reward. Final step, just put reward into the agent using function addReward. 
Now we have to implement some fuses to interrupt episode if everything goes wrong. So for example, if agent went too far from the target, we will finish the episode. And second fuse will be time, so let's make some time limit. If agent didn't achieve goal during this time, let's interrupt the episode and start from the beginning. The last thing that we should do, we should fill configuration file. It is separated topic, I just place it existed one, so you can just copy and paste to your project. By the way, code for this episode you can find by the command in the description, it is available via GitHub, so just use it. Only on this part I would make attention, so it, this part describes the uh, neurons, its quantity and uh, amount of layers. So you can just play with numbers and uh, see how it influences on your agent. But important note, if you change the configuration of agent, the training should be started from the beginning. You can't resume just training. So finally training. Launch it by the command that you see on the screen. If you see same screen, so your toolkit is ready to connect by Unity, switch to the Unity and press play. As you see, agent start some chaotic movements, so he it it doesn't have any experience, but it really quickly will get it. To force training, let's do some scaling. Uh, just create prefab folders, uh, transform our environment into prefab, and duplicate it several times. Now let's resume our training. Press play. And now our agent is training four times faster. As you can see, it starts achieve its goal almost every turn, almost every episode. Final part: how to use trained brain. Stop training uh, and remember this uh, name file name. So switch back to the Unity, make a duplicate of scene. In the scene remove uh, all episodes except one and in the agent object just assign a target file with model. Pressing play button. Guys, my congratulations. We have trained the agent. Now it can follow the target. Just let me remember, the code of this project is on GitHub, you can find the link to the project in the description of this video. Also in the description you will find the link to my Discord server where you can get help from me if you need it. Hope it was helpful, see you, bye.